Hello, it's another Saturday morning and it's time for your lovely breakfast sports package, Hotspot. My name is Babaji De Guerrero. Well, it promises to be another exciting, exciting ride as we'll do a post-mortem of the UEFA Champions League coupled with the Premier League uh, fixtures happening this weekend and the international breaks coming up shortly. But with me on the show this beautiful Saturday morning, as usual, is back. And you know, Igbinige, let me start from my fire eyes. How you doing, man? Good morning, Baba Good to be back. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. And last week you were um, MIA, missing in action. But hey, it's good to have you back. And of course, um, Leia, welcome back. Good morning to you, Baba Jide. Good morning. Uh, great to be on the show. A great uh, weekend mm. uh, upon us. Uh, looking forward towards uh, uh, the weekend we hold and, of course, uh, the coming week. You know, um, a lot of people actually be saying a lot of how um, the UEFA Champions League went, Premier League this weekend as well. But we'll get to talk about all those and more right after this break. But then, the first thing on our burner is the main issue of the day. This particular segment is brought to you by MTN. Everywhere you go, stick around. Bros, are they fine correct ways? Huh? See the shop for that side. Mm. Ati, 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 I will look out there. I'll be correct, Wes. Uh, now the shop be down, now the next one. Peter, mm -hmm. see as people they pack, they go to the shop, go by club. It don't reach like five days now. I don't suspect, say, eh, this two days when you see so, eh, in Waka, Kuru, Kere, Waka. See, mm. I go blow whistle. I go blow whistle, we came to Kuku Spray. Ah, 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 your whistle. Ah, come on, go first, get the matter before you blow whistle. Whistle block. Come on, come, John. Ah, thank you for coming. Yeah, 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 show, show first. Ready? Come. Not only you, they settle for this market. Uh -huh. Why we say not only your shop, everybody will come? And you just want to blow whistle. See, I go blow something. This is not going to be whistle blowing matter. Now, empty and goodie bag. Will it be empty and goodie bag? With empty and goodie bag, if you carry your market, enter another level, whether not for Facebook or for WhatsApp or for Twitter, for as low as 25 naira. 25 Naira. Yes, so tile star 131 star 3 hash. With just 25 Naira daily or 50 Naira weekly, you go get double data to browse Facebook, Instagram, chat, WhatsApp. Make yourself come to get double double. Nigeria's manager Gennad Raw has handed a late call up to Enyimba goalkeeper Theophilus Afelohai as replacement for Francis Zoho for the Africa Cup of Nations qualifier against South Africa and the international friendly against Uganda on November the 17th and 20th, respectively. Ozoho was forced to pull out of the Super Eagles roster after an injury in a 5-0 defeat last weekend, which will keep him on the sidelines for at least four weeks. As the dragnet for fishing out new talented players for the Super Eagles continues to spread around Europe, former Golden Eaglets forward, Victor Ossian has returned to the senior team after a long time out with another under-17 World Cup winning forward, Samuel Chukwese, earning a first call in a list of 23 players invited for the Bafana Bafana match and the encounter against the Cranes of Uganda. You welcome back to the show. It's seven days to the Nations Cup qualifications decider between South Africa and Nigeria in Johannesburg. The camp is expected to be open in the next 48 hours. And want to take a look at the goalkeeping area. Now, Elche, the club of Francis Uzo, gave everyone uh, news that we didn't want to hear. That um, Francis Uzo, the front number one goalkeeper of the Super Eagles of Nigeria, is currently injured. And uh, coach Gernot Roa had to extend um, invitations to the uh, goalkeeper for Inyimba, uh, Teofilos Afelohai, who had his sparkling uh, calf Confederations Cup season with Enyimba. Uh, and remember that he also has in that particular goalkeeping department, Ikechuku Ezenwa. Uh, now, the question is, will it be Ikechuku Ezenwa, will it be Teofilos Afelohai, or will it be Daniel Akbeyi? Yes, uh, Daniel Akbeyi plays mm. his football in Chipa United. Yeah. And a lot of people have seen Daniel play for Super Eagles of Nigeria, quite unconvincing. Uh, but then again, the issue is, if you were Gennet Roa, would it be um, Ikechuku Ezenwa or Tio Philos Afelohai or um, Daniel Akbei, who plays his football for Chipa United right there in South Africa? You want to find out who wins this particular debate? You need to stick around. Hotspot will be right back. We're back. This is Old Sports, and we thank you for joining us. We're about um, taking the third statement from the gentleman. I want to start with Leia. Well, but the, uh, the die is cast at the moment. For being a draw, you won't expect that he needs the best goalkeeper. And for me, Daniel Akbei happens to be a man who needs redemption at this time, playing at, in South Africa. I think it will be the best time for him to make sure he, he writes his wrong. He did against South Africa, the next of champions in Aquaibo. 
Okay, so like uh, like you said, I don't agree to this because this is not a time for redemption. This is not a time to take chances. So I think we will stick with someone like Ikechuku as anyone we already know that has played for the national team before. So Gennett Ross should really know that this is not the time to joke about this. So let's stick with who we have already. Sports, love you Nigerians, you've heard it. Um, the gentlemen have picked their sides. Alea believes that it's time for redemption for Daniel Akbei. He's been on the fringes of the team for a while. It's time to bring him back in. And you know he's saying, why bring in um, Daniel Akbei when you have a tested Ikechuku Ezenwa and that already knows how this thing works? We'll find out just who wins this debate right after this break. We're here now, time to get everything right. Daniel Akbei is for Leia. Leia, yeah. go. Well, Daniel Akbei right now is a man who needs redemption to the Tobago's of Nigeria. And the man who, in the reverse fixture at the Nest of Champions, now quite a bomb, flubbed the chance to do well. But of course, uh, playing in South Africa, you know, mm -hmm. this will be more like a, a home for him. And of course, if given the number one spot, you know, he'll be able to do well. Come this, uh, this season already in the uh, PSL, that the South African League is played nine times thus far. Clear, uh, clean sheet, and I feel for him uh, not keeping uh, at the goal post against uh, South Africa would do him so much confidence knowing forward that he knows the terrain. Of course, Nigeria should be able to get a favorable <laughs> what, result. What terrain does he know? No, that yeah, he's no, terrain of the goal post. You know, so are, if they shoot a shot, because See, it's South Africa, that's why we catch it. Like, no, we need to, know, we need to, we need to know. know. There's no I, time I, for redemption junction, about this. At this juncture, no, Nigeria needs to I get points. your point, but you don't, you don't really yeah, get yeah. it. No, no, no. You are talking about redemption, but it like you said, for him. if we need, if we need three points, we stick to who we know already. Ikechuko is someone should be our starting goalkeeper because ideally he's this is the number two. He has been the number two for a while mm. because um, when Kali came before Kali came had a sickness, he was the one that was meant to take over. Unfortunately, he had injury, so Uzo came in over. So now is his chance because the experience that uh, he has can be compared to the next guy we are talking about here. And um, LA is talking about redemption, but this is no time for redemption. We need three points. So we need we need to have experience. Well, he's shaking post. his head. He's <laughs> to have that in the goal Lea is not liking what you're saying, right? Yeah. Yeah. When I talk about redemption, Nigeria needs to redeem themselves against South Africa. Mm. South Africa came to acquire a man defeated by two goals to the roots the World Cup. It was more like a shock therapy. This time around, we have a goalkeeping crisis. Then again, we have got a certain also out of, of with injury. We've got uh, a certain a fellow high who was just called into the national team. So uh, already, he might not just get to the starting shit. So right now, we've got certain a uh, uh, Zenwa as well as uh, uh, Akwe. For me, Akwe is the man why because he's one man that's done so well for himself. This is alone. In the, in, in the PS or the South African League, he split uh, nine times, not considered at all. That shows that he's one man who has got consistency on his belt. Yes, he has had issues in the past with the national team, but as a goalkeeper, when you get to make mistakes and, of course, improve on yourself, why not? If you get the chance, it could be a, be, be, it could be a part of the team. Uh, uh, you know, let me just say that maybe that time of a nightmarish display by Daniel Abbey is gone. This is a new, all-improved <laughs> Daniel Abbey. Why are you smiling? Do you think that's possible? Okay. No, no, because now it's, it's, it's see, why, why, what is it when you get to the national team back, what if he has the memories again and this is our See, <laughs> is we in Nigeria, really? see, we we in Nigeria, we don't, we look at, look at our, our Igalo that he has been scoring. Even at that, people are still not forgetting that and it's like, oh, okay, mm. why didn't you do it at that big stage? See, mm. right now, we don't need to take chances. For me, as anyone, is is the, is the second in charge He's of never this, the and in he should mm. he should be the Nobody one. Has been he should be the one. No, no, no. He should be the one because he has he has had more, more appearances in the national team uh, uh, than um, at, even at the World Cup never So yeah, he couldn't because Uzo took over. Like you said, he wasn't. Uh, uh, was uh, uh, fit was the top, and he took top over. Goal See, he, 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 uh, he wasn't fit. Let's be fair to ourselves. Based on statistics, based on records, Akwe seems to be the man. Inform. Based on statistics in the game, South African yeah, League, yeah. based on statistics, you can't, no, you can't okay. use, see, in, in let me tell you, let me tell you, okay, abruptly. wait, let me ask you a question, you said, please, 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 and layer, 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 is there what we kept at go? It's been the, a the, long the time. national team keeper of Argentina doesn't even play for the club side. He has other keepers that play for him, but he starts for him. See, there's a reason why, there's a reason, no, no, we're not being biased. See, you already have somebody that has experience. He knows what he's going to do. Africa, for me, well. for me, Ikechuku, so be Ikechuku Ezenwa, Ikechuku mm. Ezenwa is, is the closest thing we have to Vicente Yama. Mm. I follow. Uh, it comes is at this juncture. Mm. It's better off 
than Ezebra. Ezebra. Why? Because he was so, the one in Go, excuse me. Gentlemen. For for mm. for Enyimba mm. uh, at the calf of the Jesus Christ, yeah. they, they lost that to Roger Kaze. Yeah, yeah, so, 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 I need Leia to explain so, one logic so, for me, what okay. Nadia has explained it. Now, okay. let's take it back. Ask him about Argentina. He still mm. has not answered me. Why does Sergio Remo start for the Argentine national team? He doesn't even play three league games in a season. You have really of resources that a very good competitive player in ratings. What you talk was, about? Was ratings, English league? Ratings, I ended ratings. abruptly. Wait now, wait, wait, wait. Mm. Was it ended abruptly? We are wait, 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 wait. No, we're not talking about. In which a goalkeeper is not is, is Sergio Romero does not even keep. Train. So him has ended his own abruptly too. Sergio Romero is not keeping. Gentlemen, gentlemen, we can we can go on and on and on and we on need about experience. this. That just tells you the level of passion that this gentleman, you know, bring to the table. Especially if at all the question is whether or not who gets. Man, the post, uh, if at all it's going to be Theo Philos Afelohai or um, Ikechuku Ezenwa or Daniel Ekbe, who plays for Chippa United, who has kept clean sheets. It's it's a little bit of um, advantage and disadvantage here and there, but hey, the final call will be left to Gennett Rabba. That's not my final whistle. Of course, my final whistle will be at the end of the show. We'll go for a quick break and when we return, the show continues. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this? Adam, go and bring us your husband. Okay, hello baby. We're in this together, okay? Can you hear me? Keep coming forward. Wait, 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 stop, stop. <laughs> you okay, Lucy, you alright? <laughs> Keep walking down. Keep walking to the left, yes. You're almost here. Keep going. You are here. <laughs> wow, you did it. I'm just so glad I didn't have to use my cane to do this. And I am so glad no other man got you before me. Let me be your eyes. We will never stop working to give you a network you can rely on so you can enjoy life's special moments. MTN, everywhere you go. Former Nigeria international Victor Moses was once again overlooked by Chelsea boss Mauricio Sarri in the Blues 3-1 win against Crystal Palace at the Stanford Bridge on Sunday. Moses, who appears not to be in Sarri's plan, has made only two Premier League appearances for the West London club this season as a substitute. Also in England, Arsenal manager Unai Emery held the contribution of Alex Uwobi in a side's 1-1 home draw against Liverpool at the Emirates Stadium on Saturday. Iwobi came off the bench in the second half and made a vital assist for Alexandra Lacazette to equalise 8 minutes from full time. Super Eagles forward Isaac Success fired blanks on his third English Premier League start of the season for Watford, who lost 1 0 to Newcastle United at St James Park on Saturday. The Nigerian international was substituted in the 85th minute. At Cardiff City Stadium in Wales, Wilfred indeed made his 11th start of the season in Leicester City's own goal away win over Cardiff. However, his compatriot Kelechi Heinacho was only good enough for the bench as he was not given a look in by manager Claude Fur. At Goodison Park, Leon Balogun's mystery continued as he watched from the substitute bench as his club Brighton considered a 3 new loss to Everton. Elche's Nigerian shortstopper Francis Uzoho considered five goals against Candies, who completed a stunning 5 1 victory in Sunday's Spanish Segunda League clash. The Nigerian first choice goaltender, who had kept two clean sheets in the league prior to Sunday's defeat, was beaten five times in the second half of the encounter. In Turkey, Galatasaray forward Henry Onyekuru is revealed at the support he and his teammates received in Friday's Turkish Super League clash against arch rivals Benabraj at the Telecom Stadium. Onyekuru featured for its six minutes on his return from a two weeks injury layoff in the cracker, which ended 2 all. In Italy, Ola Aino put an impressive performance as Torino defeated Sampdoria 4 1 in Sunday's Italian Serie A fixture. The wing back, who has been a consistent player for the Bull, featuring in all but one of their league games since joining the Italian side on loan from Chelsea, provided assist for Torino's third goal. Finally, Super Eagles forward and current standing captain Ahmed Musa has been named Player of the Week in Saudi Arabia following his impressive performances in September. 
moved. Musawu moved from Leicester City, has been in blazing form in the Saudi League after his outstanding show at the 2018 FIFA World Cup, where he scored two marvelous goals against Iceland. You're welcome to Sports Hot Sports segment of the program where we look at exciting sports news making the rounds. And let's start from the home front because charity, they say, uh, begins at home. You know, whenever people say charity begins at home, I'm always asking them, where does glory begin from? Glory should begin from church, right? If charity <laughs> begins at home. All right, the um, African Women's and Nations Cup in 2018, of course, Super Falcons head coach Thomas Denaby has named Asisa Toshuala, regular suspect, um, desire of Aaron Rosier, Francis, Francis Dega, and 18 others in his final squad of 21 players who will fly Nigeria's flag at the 11th Women African Cup of Nations finals in Ghana. In a media statement issued by Nigerian Football Federation Communication Department, uh, Denaby also listed Onome Ebi and Rashida Ajibade. Meanwhile, Bayana Bayana head coach, Ellis has announced that um, the squad of 21 players represents South Africa at the 2018 Women's African Nations Cup tournament scheduled to hold in Ghana from 17th November to the 1st of December. Of course, we wish the Super Falcons all the very, very best. And now to the news that everyone wants to talk about. Before uh, we got into the studio, Eino and the guys, uh, Eino Lea and I were discussing on um, the UEFA Champions League and how the drama, uh, you know, just couldn't um, leave that particular center stage. Let's focus first to what happened at the Etihad Stadium. Um, during the course of the game, we saw Raheem Sterling um, go down in the penalty box. Obviously, uh, the referee would have called for a penalty, but that was not the news. The news was the fact that it was not a penalty. And you know, what are your thoughts about this? Well, um, first of all, is it wasn't a penalty like we all know, but I'm disappointed at Sterling because he could mm. have easily have told the referee that wasn't a penalty. You know, many times we criticize the referees here a lot, but I think players need to start playing their part in this decision because I complain about it when I go and watch um, um, my feeder team play and you see somebody saying this, no I say you, you don't force the referee to make that decision. You know, we are talking about this off camp. Players like Closer did yeah. that. That happened against Closer. He used yeah. his hand to score a goal and it was first to notify the referee that this wasn't a goal. Yeah. He still lost, they still lost mm -hmm. the match. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, he won respect for that decision. Absolutely. Nothing would have stopped Sterling to have told the ref that ref, no, this is not a penalty. And ref, Sterling made it so like the guy touched him and he was like, and you saw the, the Shakhtar goalkeeper just he was shake, laughing. Just shaking and looking at the referee like, like how, how do you do that? I yeah. know he made Guardiola say, okay, maybe it's time we need VR. But when the coach of Man City was he impressed with that decision too? He yeah. wasn't impressed. And it, that, it was, I'm, happy, I'm happy that Guardiola said that too because we know the other guy at the other side. It might be a different thing <laughs> if it had happened to his team. You know, a lot of people were saying that it was not the referee's decision, it was the ref um, decision of the assistant referee who had a clearer view. But I think strongly that I second a union on that. It, I mean, no disrespect. Manchester City will still have whooped yes, Shakhtar yes. Donetsk not, regardless the, the of the penalty. These people are human. Yeah. They are human. Yeah. But see, when, 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 when we saw the decision happened, Without the replay, we all saw it was a penalty. Mm. Till we saw it again. So these guys don't have replay. Yeah. We are the ones that have replay. We the fans. They just so this have. is where Sterling should just help the referee and say now. Nah. Yeah. But speaking of panning out, uh, we would like to see how the um, another new week of the English Premier League pans out. This one will be quite interesting, especially on Sunday. We got juicy, juicy encounters uh, this week. Um, of course, uh, Crystal Palace will play Tottenham or Spurs. Southampton will play Watford. But on Sunday, Chelsea will play Everton. Chelsea is still yet to lose in the tournament in the league. I beg your pardon. Well, it's still his tournament, if you want to put it that way. But the big one is the Mancunian derby. It's one of the biggest derbies in the world. You could mention the El Clasico. You could mention the Milan derby. The Mancunian derby, Manchester derby is right up there with one of the best feels. Now, um, interestingly, United has won four of the last eight meetings. Uh, City have won only twice in the same period. And uh, interestingly as well, uh, um, this particular City team have taken more shots, had more possessions, scored more goals at home than any other team thus far in the English Premier League. You have a feeling, uh, you know, that Jose Mourinho has found a way to set his side up against big, big sides. This could actually have a repeat tomorrow. Uh, well, first of all, uh, Mourinho, we all know the way he plays against big sides. Mm. So I don't think he has set up, he has done this for the last 10 years. And the scary part about this City team is that they've scored 12 goals in two games. 
in their two last home games. So, you know, that's, that's a very, very scary thing. But for what is what, you know, like I said one time in this show, I hope it's not, it's, we don't have a boring game. Because last season we had a very we had a better game, um, um, the Manchester derby because you know City were about to win the league, At so United had to come mm -hmm. out, you know. So that was better. So tomorrow I just hope uh, Mario doesn't just say, you know what, let me pack my box, call my lorry guy, call my <laughs> ship guy, you know, block everything, put everything and, there, no and, way yeah, for anyone. Yeah, but it's, it's City. City is 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 a form. So right you are now. giving this yeah. to City? Yeah, because man, that guy they call Bernardo Silva this season. I I don't know. I think he's going on notice, but Bernardo Silva, he has when De Bruyne was out, he has stepped in, and that's that's the class about City. Their bench is is amazing. Why do I feel that Jose Mourinho picking a maximum point at the Juventus Stadium? has a huge dose of confidence for these boys going against City. That's hey, you know. what you feel, but I don't feel so. Okay. Because the match, um, United didn't play fantastic. It's just one of those things, you know. It happened to Tottenham against Juventus. So I just think what happened to Juve was karma. Hmm. Yeah, because Tottenham were on point all through. Last, last minute in the game, you just come, you win it. So it happens in football. Okay. It happens. All right. So, um, of course, one thing that would definitely happen is that we, three of us, would sit down tomorrow to watch this game and maybe hopefully uh would probably come here next week saturday to tell you how that all went out we'll talk some tennis now as rafael nadal has been spotted working with crutches after he had a successful operation on his ankle following the confirmation that his 2018 season is over quite sad nadal withdrew from the atp water in london next week in order to recover fully uh quite sad, quite sad. yeah he's, uh, the prince of uh, maoka is one man that's actually battled through uh Injuries uh, some two, three years ago, he had an appendicitis uh, uh, surgery. Then again, now have another operation. I think for me, his woman has always given his best to tennis, but of course, injury has actually hampered you know, his progress. Hopefully, he recovers in time ahead of uh, 20, uh, 2019, uh, uh, especially the first grass of the year, which is, which is the Australian Open. Let's go to boxing now. Uh, the world heavyweight champion, WBA, IBF, and WBO champion, Anthony Joshua. 22 fight, 21 knockout, turned down an $80 million deal to face American WBC counterpart Deontay Wilder, who had 40 fights and 39 KO. Well, however, Deontay Wilder won that he has transformed into a killer as he ramped up his preparation to fight um, Tyson Fury, dispensing Anthony Joshua as a coward. It's going to get very, very ugly, this one. Well, Wilder is putting his WBC belt and 40 in all on beating record on the line when he faces Fury in Los Angeles on December the 1st. Now, there are so many boxing fights this year so far, but we have a feeling that if at all this Fury and the... Um, this Fury and Deontay Wilder fight goes on, and then we have Anthony Joshua, who may be toasted to some of the greatest Boston bats ever time. But let's start with this one in front of us. Joshua and Wilder. Wilder called Joshua a coward. Well, at, at this point in time, uh, Joshua is actually enjoying his, uh, his, his life. He's, he's champy. He's currently in Los Angeles, you know, after a of... Uh, uh, winning uh, some few uh, weeks ago, but, but, but I think uh, for Dante Wilder, I think uh, he's so very, you know, furious right now. He really wants to fight. Uh, when he's not Tyson Fury. Uh, 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 <laughs> Anthony Joshua, but we get to see how this will pan out because, uh, you know, in boxing, so much is actually put into this from promoters, you know, uh, to the uh, to the viewers and all of those stakeholders and in terms of it. So you get to see all of all of this, you know, uh, put to place. For Joshua, he could have said, yeah, no, he's not ready, but of course, there's always a reason for everything because as a boxer, it's been said that you don't choose the bouts you need to fight, but the bouts you need to fight will come to choose you. Oh, well, uh, Formula One is thinking about expansion, and this is quite good uh, because come 2020, I would see uh, Vietnam host Formula One events, and that for me is absolutely fantastic. Where well, Formula One has been a very, very huge, um, significant sport in recent times. And remember, they, we have the Japanese Grand Prix, we have the Hong Kong Grand Prix, and now, interestingly, starting from 2020, as confirmed by Formula One, would have the Vietnam Grand Prix. And remember that the Formula One season is coming to a close uh, with the Brazilian Grand Prix happening this weekend, and to end it will be the Mexico Grand Prix. Well, thank you for staying with us so far. We'll take a short break. And when we return, it's time for the final whistle on Odd Sports.
you welcome back from the break. And earlier in the show, we had an argument in the studio. It was a polite gentleman argument. There was no fist fight in anything whatsoever. We asked, who should Genetroa allow to man the post as the Super Eagles of Nigeria play against South Africa? Should it be Ikechukwe Zenwa? or Theo Philos Afelokai, or possibly should he be the man who resides and plays his football in South Africa uh, for Chippa United, Daniel Akbe, or well, the gentleman had very, very important points. But the question is, I'm putting it to you now, judging by their argument, judging by their strong metrics that they left in the studio, who do you think is right? But I think definitely that Genet Roa would do his best possible uh, to assure that he gives the very best individual the chance to be in that particular post. But we're waiting for your thoughts. We want to hear from you, especially on our YouTube platform and all our social media right there on your screen. All right, that's the look we can take on the show today. We want to thank you very, very much, especially the guys in the studios. Um, Leia, it's going to be a very beautiful weekend, and I hope you're going to be enjoying it. Sure, I'm like the good to be on the longest seven uh, sports show on TV. You can say that again. Following. Hey, you know, uh, what are you doing this weekend with yourself? I'm going to watch the man. Okay, okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the tell the world it's but, been an amazing, yeah, amazing yeah, show. Done this octopus for us today. Like, oh yeah. yeah. Okay, so tax. octopus player, you want to take it over? I've been advised not to be an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> Please enjoy yourself. Have a very, very beautiful weekend. Shout out to everyone that made this uh, production a huge success. And from all of us here, is have a beautiful week ahead. <laughs>